Hey, what's up? Today, the globals built-in function in Python 3. So let's start with the docs. Globals doesn't take any arguments, and it'll return a dictionary representing the current global symbol table. What is that? Well, I found a pretty good definition. So a symbol table is a data structure which contains all the necessary information about a program. Basically, it's just a dictionary with a bunch of info. Nothing to be too intimidated about. Time to run it and see what we get. So we do get a dictionary and we have our built-ins and we have a whole bunch of info that just represents things available to us in the global scope. I know also that when we create variables like a equals five, b equals 10, whatever, uh, if we run globals again, we can see these available to us in the global scope because that's where we're initiating the variables. Now, you may be thinking that dir directory is pretty similar. Uh, so this is giving us a list of strings. And when it comes to our A and B, we're just getting the keys. We're not getting the values. So with globals, we had our key value pairs. Probably also important to note that you can kind of dig in as well and access the uh, the different values you have available so we can access our a and b that we created we can access say the uh, the built-ins that we see there and so we're getting this kind of built-in object and i might need to make my screen a little smaller but here's what we're going to do we're going to have our built-ins and access that dictionary. And we're just gonna get a whole bunch of info. Seems kind of crazy, but uh, when you look, you see delete attribute, chr, bin, any, basically all those built-in functions that you're familiar with. So basically that is to say that you can access things in the global scope to a pretty granular level of detail. 